And back here at home, we're learning the elementary school student accused of attacking a teacher likely will not face charges because he's too young in the eyes of the law. Local 10's Ian Margul is live. He's in Pembroke Pines now with this update. And Ian, this little boy is only, what, five years old? Five years old, and that is why he likely will not face charges. The law basically saying he isn't old enough to know right from wrong at this point. And today we also learn this teacher has some pretty serious injuries and actually needs surgery. And it's possible this student has actually hurt this teacher more than once. This all happened on Wednesday in a class for students with special needs at Pines Lakes Elementary in Pembroke Pines. Apparently two students, a four and a five year old, began throwing things around the classroom and flipping chairs. The five year old who everyone has been talking about at the center of this was brought to another room to help calm him down. But apparently he lunged at the teacher when she wasn't expecting it. When first responders got there, she had fallen backwards, smacked her head. The 13 year veteran teacher was unresponsive for those first responders. She was rushed to the hospital. We're told she suffered a pretty major concussion along with several, several other major injuries. And Anna Fusco, the president of the Broward Teachers Union, says this is actually the third time this teacher has had to be taken from the school by fire rescue because of injuries from this student. And that she's actually asked the school district for help in the classroom more than once, but has been told the district doesn't have the resources. Enough with the excuses and do it for the good of the student which in turns for the good of the whole class and is the good of the, of the employee. That mother has a right to go home to her child without being injured to take care of her child and not be choked out, a bookshelf thrown on her, and now this concussion and everything else. It's not okay. So the good news is that teacher is back home, but again, her injury is pretty serious and she still does need that surgery. Again, this five-year-old likely will not face charges but again, this is all still under investigation and police say anything could change. Live in Pembroke Pines, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.